need to pay the city more to work on the sewer system. Whatever it is. Whatever it is, they need to give them whatever they need. Because this is gross. Okay. Here. Yeah. Yes, special. Mm -hmm. Hop in there without the ladder. It goes too far down. Or if you hop into the ladder, I'll put the ladder down in there. What do you think? And I just yeah, I could squeeze on my way up. Okay. So you wanna go you wanna go all the way down? Mm-hmm. Let me put a light on you. Got it? Okay. See look, see how much room you got? Never mind, we are not doing that. That looks just too freaking that too is far of a job, huh? Dude, you're too far of a job. Yeah, I'd never find you. But see that big honeycomb right there? That big, 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 big one? We're going to use that ladder. We'll use that ladder to hold on to that one. Hold that ladder just like that. Just like that. Okay, we're going to this one now. Small pieces hang on. Six inches of poop hanging off the back of that bad boy. <clears throat> okay. You good? Yep. Awesome. I'm just trying to give you some space there. Cool. No, mm -hmm. thanks. Got some water in the truck too. Mm -hmm. Hey, 
go. I was looking for. Got it. Super Paul. That's a new world. Quick tea. I think I'm going to go with one more. Okay. See. I got a big piece right here. Where's our main man at? He's right here. Come over here. I want to show you something. Yeah, come this way. This is easier. This way. <laughs> okay, I want you to look at. Here. I want you to look at these cockroaches. You ready? Bam! Nice. We gotta start doing some storm netting in this city. That's disgusting. See that? Move your light back a little bit. There you go. Do the roaches like the honey? Yeah, they love the honey. That's why you never want to leave honey inside your house. At all, ever. Look at that. When I'm running, I can see them crawling on my face, in my face mask. I'm trying to say, look at them. Look at them down there. See that right there? There you go. See that big glob? Yep. That's how they live. They've been eating this honey for a very, very, very long time. I just gotta get those two pieces of honey cut off, and I'll be sort of a lot better than I was in there. Again. I just got to get that little bit off in a minute, but I think I got a grip on everything. Okay. All right. All right. I feel a lot better. Yep. The little pieces here. We're going to feed to the roaches. They're right there waiting. They're waiting. They don't like that light, huh? Uh-uh. Can't stand that, brother. Let me get some, let me get some spray paint. Yeah, it's right. all you, brother. I'm on. Okay. Okay. Wow. see a lot. What do you think of this? This is nasty. This is nasty and massive. This is years. These people don't have a clue how long this has been. So I curl what I need the bottom of that and take actually the shape and form of the sewer system. I'm surprised they haven't had sewer problems here. And all these roaches that we're seeing in night time, this is what's feeding them. This nasty, disgusting honey that has been here for ages and ages and ages. And these people following a work order in the sewer system for bees. You gotta get on it. You can't wait. It jeopardizes everybody on the block. These bees don't have to stay here. If that queen bee gets mad, she's unhappy, she's gonna take flight. 
So you're going to flop any one of these sewer systems. And all these little holes you have in them, they're going to kill one of these kids in the backyard. They're going to kill their pets. Somebody's going to die. It doesn't matter how time. And maybe one day I'm not, I'm not going to be there. But I doubt that. So just let you know. What, what's the hard part of battling this? Angles and all it's that the air. I'm sorry? It's the air. The air is just the, the air, the stench that you're breathing in is pure. It's human feces. Along with the cockroach, the smoky brown cockroaches, the Oriole, Oriole cockroaches, they got German cockroaches down there. And they have albino cockroaches down there. They haven't even seen the light since the beginning of uh, the days of the dinosaurs. They produce this oil. It's, it's, it lines everything. And when you're down there, you're breathing it. It gets in your mouth and your tongue and your gums, your nose hairs, because that's what protects you on your eyelashes. And then the roaches come up to the top to see what you're doing. And they're putting little antennas in your hair and you can feel them touching your face which I don't mind getting stung in the face by bees which that's normal for me every day but sometimes roaches freak me out because they like to touch my face and put their little things up in my nose in the corners of my eyelashes because they want to touch everything too so that'll set you back a little bit but it's the smell I mean you're seeing people as you're working you're seeing them flush the commode and you're thinking well I wonder what house that was in you know and uh, they don't have a clue that this is going on so this is what's happening. This honey is probably the most rancid, nastiest honey I've ever come across in my entire life. And this, this just goes to show that bees will find any place for any reason whatsoever to, to live. And you as individuals, as, as civilians, can't stop them. Don't even try it. You're just kidding. You're going to get yourself hurt. And then you're going to get sick. And, or you're going to get stung. If you even see something like this. You better call, you better just call Gotcha. If I don't have you, he's got you. I'll tell you that right now. But this, this is, the cleanup procedure on this is going to probably be about 15 hours in the suit. You're going to have to wash them eight or nine times. The tools are going to have to be sanitized. The truck's going to have to be sanitized inside and out. The floor mat. You can't have any of this on you. You can get anything. You get blood poison. You're cut. I've been stung five, six times in the arm. Twice on the shoulder, three on the knees. Because when these bee suits get close to these bees, they sting and they take advantage of your weakness and they can feel your heart beating. You're upside down, so they're going through your throat. Yeah. <laughs> this is hundreds of thousands. Honey comes thousands of bees? Thousands of bees. Thousands and thousands and thousands of bees down there. I mean, just. I'm, I, don't feel like, I don't feel like it's going to do me any good to try to bring them to the top. Um, they'll slowly find their own way out uh, sooner or later. Um, but my game is I need to take their food source and that's their honey and I need to, I need to take all the furniture out of their house right now so maybe they're going to find another place to live and hopefully it will not be in this neighborhood but I'm going to take about 89% of them the rest of them I can't reach there's no way I'm not that um, I'm not that thin anymore so you know what I mean but um, other than that they're in there deep and uh, they're in there super deep and they, like I said they just take in shape and Who's to say that they won't go down the sewer line, just, you know, and pop up somewhere else in an old abandoned house that doesn't have water running in it? And that's what you got to be careful out here on the side of town is the abandoned homes. They, that's why I've been getting all the bees. I find them underneath the sink. So how do you think they're getting there? They're traveling to these, these sewer systems, just like anything else. Rats are traveling down here. Cockroaches, baby alligators are down there. All kinds of stuff. Rats. You name it. It's Gotcha Pest Control. Gotcha Pest Control. If I don't have you, who's Gotcha? It's your name again and spell it. Claude Griffin. C L A U D E Griffin. G R I F F I N. We can misspell Bob. I ask people to spell their names all day long. We're going to get them right. Well, good. Boy, that's a hell of a job, guys. Thanks. Hell of a job. I hope this makes national television. Me and Courtney Gilmore did one that made national, and it went it went so it was incredible. I mean, it was like Katie Kurt did it, Matt Laro did it. It went. It was unbelievable. It should go national television. No way, it shouldn't be. This is Dave Letterman material. Uh -huh. This is serious. Mm -hmm. All right, you can go up there and get all set. I'm going to go ahead and do my regular stuff.